formulas is the count uh, group so we have again like you know count count if and count ifs uh, whether they use the count is obviously used when uh, you need to get let's say the number of specific uh, cells uh, you need to count let's say uh, a number of specific cells uh, uh, and uh, obviously you have count if and count ifs uh, which basically allow for a condition to be inserted as well exactly the same logic uh, as the previous two but obviously in this case uh, it is counting it is not summing it's not averaging it is counting uh, now if i go to the examples here uh, which uh just under the average uh, so what we have here is a range of cells this is our range of cells and uh, if we want to count them uh, we can just use the count formula and this is going to give us the number of cells in this range uh, which is 12 okay now going to the count if example uh, so what we have here uh, we have conditions. The conditions are grapes, pears, apples, oranges, and then the other condition is 150. So uh, we, first of all, we need to find uh, how many times um, grapes is actually in this range here. So if I fix the range again with F4, the dollar signs, and then use grapes, uh, as the condition uh, it's going to give us two now if i go and paste this here for the pears apples and oranges we get two two three two uh, now uh, this example is slightly different because uh, it requires uh, a sign to be inserted uh, so the range in this case is going to be uh, the numbers range here and now we need to put quotes and then put this uh, and then uh, obviously 150 so uh, the formula is going to go to the range uh, that we have selected and is going to count all the numbers that are less than 150 uh, that's basically what's going to happen uh, so as you can see uh, it gives us a result of 2 and this is obviously first number that is less than 150 and the second number is this one uh, so it is correct now if we go to the um, count if strain uh, count ifs example uh, so what we have here is uh, we need uh, to uh, get uh, the players from Real Madrid that are uh, over the age of 30 and in order to do that we have two conditions first of all uh, so um, now uh, because there's no specific kind of sum range or, or let's say average range here uh, we always start with the criterion range uh, so in this case uh, the first criterion is going to be Real Madrid so uh, the range should be the teams here so now if we actually select this range and then uh, select the uh, condition here and after that we need to select the age uh, of the players on the left uh, and now I'm going to fix that again uh, and now I need to use the quotes and uh, bigger sign uh, and then we can just do this bigger than 30 basically so this is what we're looking for uh, how many players from Real Madrid uh, from uh, obviously this table uh, are actually over the age of 33 and it's going to give us uh, two because as you can see there are only two Real Madrid players uh, here and both of them uh, at the age of 33 so the formula is correct now going back to the presentation uh, 